Good morning, 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 hustle game, good morning, YouTube, I know, I know, I, I know it's Saturday, you're supposed to be sleeping in, you sleeping in until football come on, but guess what, before football come on, let's get out and make a couple of dollars, just, just a couple of dollars before football, let's get up at 6, let's work to 12, first uh, college football start at 12 o'clock. So let's go out and work a couple hours before football starts and then relax the rest of the day. Catch y'all when we get a order. All right, Hustle Game, first order of today, y'all. First order, $25.82. For 3.5 miles and yes it's a three drop off order but we ain't worried about none of that because we out to make some money lego all right guys next order up look like we're going inside for 27 dollars and 11 cents and we're only going 2.4 miles but we're shopping for 45 items <laughs> let's go hustle game y'all let me know in the comments if y'all remember this game growing up or just let me know What's going on, everybody? I want to know if you are still making money in your um in your area. If not, you need to go learn your area. Learn learn to work during the busiest times. Learn to work when nobody's out there, so you're getting all the orders. Like once you learn your area, you are still able to make 200 plus a day, even though it's a zag zag a zag zag. Exaggerated. That's stupid. I can't say the word, but even though there's a lot of drivers out there, you just gotta learn to know what areas to go in, what areas not to go in. Even if you get bad orders, like say it's twenty dollars for uh, ten to twelve, uh, fifteen miles. Yeah, that might be a decent order, but. Um, it could be leading you to an area where it got a lot of orders at. So sometimes those orders are good to take when the miles is, you know, kind of high. But it also can be bad too. Say even if you can get a good order, let's say um, ten miles for twenty dollars. But you know, once you go in that area, you're not going to get any more orders until you come back to the area you just left. So sometimes you gotta basically learn your market, y'all. Learn your market. Learn what areas are always popping. Learn the ones that's not popping. But uh, let's continue to wait on uh, another order. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, next order up is twenty three dollars and eight cents. It is a three stop order. Um, twelve point nine miles. Not really liking the miles, but we just still trying to get all this money while it's out because we rarely kind of see twenty dollar orders like that. Um. But we might not be able to keep it. We're gonna hold on maybe about five to ten minutes because it's showing that it's still finding the item. So I try not to wait too long. It is Saturday, so it is a lot of orders that's gonna be out there. Everybody getting up, ordering their groceries. So I'm gonna give it about five to ten, probably five to eight. And if it ain't moved out of finding items, then we got we're gonna just get rid of this order, y'all. All right, hustle game. Before I was able to cancel the whole order. I waited for about five minutes like I told y'all it was going to be. Uh, it was still in finding the items. Next thing you know, I seen the money change. So they cancel one of the things off. Then they cancel another one. Then they cancel another one. So now, they, I guess, they don't want to mess up their time if they're behind. So what they do is they just cancel the order out for you. Y'all let me know in your area. Do your Walmart 
cancel certain orders that's not ready and then eventually cancel the whole thing out. So let me know. So even though that happened, y'all, guess what happened? I got even a better order, y'all. $28.16 for only 3.2 miles. You heard right, 3.2 miles. So y'all were able to make, and then we can probably make $40 this hour, depending on how many items on this. We gotta go shopping, but oh, $28.16 for 3.2 miles. Wow, let's go shopping, y'all. Dang, boy, that was a lot of items on that. I didn't see the item counts was like, hey, we're here and accepted the order. So like, if you don't know, you can see how many items it is before you start the trip. Once you start the trip, you won't be able to see how many items it is. And that's what I did on hand and started it and wasn't able to see how many. So we got it done. I don't know how long it took, but I swear one of the aisles that I hate the deli aisle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they took this lady. Go ahead. It took this lady about 10 to 15 minutes to do two orders of meat. One was I had to get a uh, 0.5. And then one was a 1.5. And I had cheese on there too, but I was like, you know what? She just literally taking too slow to cut this. So they, they ain't getting their cheese, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I went over there before. She done went and got the meat to slice the meat. Then she done walked over to the fryer. Then she started mess, messing with the uh, chicken. I'm like, hold on, man. You don't wanna go ahead and get my, my order right first before you start doing other stuff? She over there doing other stuff. Then she came back to slice the meat. That took time doing that. Then I gave her the other order. She did the same thing. I'm like, oh, I swear I hate, it seems like they put the slowest people in the deli aisle. And it's normally, I guess, all the old people. <laughs> so y'all let me know, do y'all like uh, shopping? Well, not shopping, but getting orders or items from the deli aisle. Alright, hustle game. We got a pick up order for eighteen dollars. And yeah, just eighteen dollars for eight point eight miles, two stops. Lego. Just a rolling lot of mules. Dabbing on them like the usual. Yeah. Magic with the pretty wood. Alright, hustle game. We got a delivery to a college student. I'm not playing no games with them. I'm about to go to the lobby. Drop it off at the lobby, take it in the lobby, hey. Cause I'm not about to call the text cause they don't answer neither one. So it is what it is. College students are one of the hardest people to get in touch with, even though you know they ordered these items. Well, I don't know if they order or either their parents. Nobody seems to put their real number in the app to where you can get in touch with them. So, most of the time, you'll probably end up having to take a, a lot of their groceries back because it just, it's, it, it's hard to get in touch with them. Especially, I mean, I know why kind of sometimes on the weekdays, depending on when they order the stuff because they do be in class, but it's the weekend. Get up, out to bed. I know Walmart Spark app alerts you when your order is being shopped or being delivered or on its way. So you should be able to see those alerts. So I mean, what I did with the order, cause the lobby was closed. You had to have a special key to get in. So it was special access to get in. So I just left it at the second lobby doors. What are these people doing? Come on now, get it together people, get it together. But let's go drop the second order off. Once again, we're gonna take one more order if it comes out. We got another pickup order for $15.70 for six miles. It's only a one drop off order. And it is kind of a good bit of people out here in the pickup area. So I don't know if it might come out 
but we're gonna give it that five to eight minute wait and then if not then we'll just go ahead and call it quits for the day catch you if we get this order